I looked at the fibre and primary industries unit um, aimed at year fours and fives but it was so comprehensive and detailed that you could use it for upper primary or you know tone it down a bit and use it for lower primary so yeah it was a really well designed unit. This unit will allow us to have an inquiry based learning program possibly from R to 7 is my vision. We now have Stephanie Alexander happening so obviously with you know paddock to plate that's going to tie in beautifully with that unit and be versatile to use. Lots of them are farmers so obviously they know hay, they know wheat, they know grapes, they know grain, you know those sorts of things but they don't know a lot about cotton or you know if dad's not in, in perhaps the timber industry then that's an area that can be investigated. There were links to go onto the internet and um, there was a unit pro forma there was a sort of a spiral kind of planning implement where you could go from one unit, then that would lead into the next one. It looked at the primary industry, so it looked at cotton, um, pine plantations, everything from farming right through. And so it was related to the, to the children that we teach locally, but could also be adapted to children in the city. So yeah, it was really good. The inquiry-based learning was really open-ended and that lent itself to the relationship of the Australian curriculum so that was a really important thing and that's sometimes tricky to try and fit everything into our very crammed curriculum so yeah that was a really important point and really easy to run with. So you have to be really creative, um, have an integrated curriculum and try and cover as many strands as you can back to the learning outcomes so that everybody's engaged and has access to the curriculum. There was lots of art, design, technology, um, English, lots of maths, problem solving, inquiry based learning just lends itself so beautifully to the learning, independent learning of the child and so you can tailor it to children to, to access the curriculum whether they have learning difficulties or whether they need extension. We'll probably look at doing some inquiry based learning and extending those high achievers to push them on but also engage with children that need extra support and we might even run a specialist sort of program where they can be pulled out using those English math skills and then yeah have small groups maybe. Um, we're looking at a flexible learning centre so hopefully that will be achievable through units like this. It's a really great unit, really well set out and easy to use and certainly adaptable. Mm -hmm.